Hey, g'day, g'day guys. guys. Thanks How's for it going? joining me. I'm today, so glad I have you have joined me today. Because another video one, that I would love to say huge thank probably you. Looking at the massive colors, thank you. If you saw the video before to this, all the subscribers go, that have come on board. Is this the same video with my little That's tiny not. Aussie this channel? This video is actually showing you using different up. ways. Uh, just a the slightly different way to scrap scrapbook. materials from the now, previous page. So what I wanted to get do it out of the way straight up. If you're new to my channel, that you can hit subscribe button because I load up a new video scraps every single week. The every scraps I'm day talking about are actually by Sunday. You're rubbish. Okay. Okay. So, that's my so day. it's you not know. just. I am a mum of three. Leftover nieces of, in you know, a cut file or something like that. <laughs> it's so actually what letting you, you know. Basically, this is my full time job. So I'm a homemaker. Stick with me. Lucky enough that my husband We will go through this and I will show you what you two can do. We to be able to do this rubbish. as a full time. Now, before we get passion, too bogged down in it. It's, it I is just want to say, I, I don't normally massive, say that, but massive this really is my passion. I love creating and using my brain um, wherever I can with paper crafts. Sorry, I just now enough of that. Okay, so start. if you can s hit that subscribe button for me, that would really help my channel out with the algorithm with YouTube. And now I'm going to get into what on earth I'm doing today. Now. You're probably looking at this, if you saw the previous video, and you're sort of thinking, hang on, these are the same colours. This is the rubbish that's left over from my previous page that I did, okay? So, the Kenilworth Bakery page it was the page before this. Now, this one is, I'm showing you how you can use what is normally the bits and pieces we throw in the bin, okay? Like, no joke. These are not fancy pieces. These are totally, 100%, would throw them in the bin. But I'm going to show you how to make them pretty and not waste good money. You've paid for this. I know it's an off-cut. Okay, stick with me. I know it's an off-cut. I know it's just a trim, but... It looks so good in the end. And you'll be thinking to yourself, oh my God, I am doing a basic block style. So if you look at the page, you've got four six by six squares. Okay. Now I've done a eighth of an inch white border around each block. Purely so it's easier for me to work and trim down the edges. That's, that's pretty much what I did. I hate measuring. Anyone else out there like that? I hate measuring. But I do it because, you know, it's... I, I have... Okay, so straight up. I have OCD. I am medicated for it. But in my paper craft, it does come out quite often. There's things that I just can't do <laughs> because I just... Oh, I struggle. And sometimes... You guys will see it. You'll see it a mile away. It it stands out when I just, I just can't purposely make something crooked. At the moment, and I've said this a few few times in my last few videos, borders are my thing. The borders for me allow me to get messier in the center, so my brain feels like it's not going to fall off the edges. That's just my creative process. So these pieces that I'm putting on here. In my previous video, I went through with a border punch. You can see the little squares there. They were leftovers. Kept them because I thought I might use them. You never know. Now, these bits here. Okay. This is literally just the edge. That, that when you do your border punch, okay, um, the piece that pops out the bottom of the border punch, that's what this is. It is literally just the the chuck away bit that pops through the bottom, but it had a nice zigzag on it. So I thought maybe I could do something with that. I don't know what I can do, but I'm going to keep them. And I've got these little clear, you saw it there. You can see them up in the top right corner. My daughter bought me these little plastic containers. They're clear square containers. I think she got them from Kmart Australia. Um, and they weren't very expensive, but I keep them on my desk for when I'm doing a page. And in this situation, I saw all these bits appearing as I was doing these border punches. And I thought, you know what? 
surely I can do something with that. And so this is what I did. Now there's four different shades of green. The papers that I'm using are the, are they recollections? Or give me one second and I'll check what the actual brand is. It is. It is. It's, it is. It's Recollections brand um, cardstock. It's the A4 cardstock that you can get from Spotlight here in Australia for my Aussie peeps. Um, it's, I usually get it when it's like $6 when they have a sale and I buy heaps of it because it's a really good, it's really good for matting. There's five different shades of the one tone. So the, this is like the green pack. I didn't use the really bright green, but I used all the sort of teal tones. The other thing I wanted to do on this page was not use mixed media because I realized there's a lot of scrapbookers out there that still don't use mixed media and they don't feel comfortable with mixed media. So I thought I, I would do a page that involves no mixed media. Just to give you a different, you know, an old school look at how we used to always scrap before we considered adding a heap of mixed media to a page. So basically what I'm doing here is creating like a little firework. Now these have little zigzags on them. If you want to see close up pictures of this as well, I'll let you know. I have a Facebook group that I've started and that's where I share all my close up photos and I take like... 10 or more close-up photos so you can really see what it actually looks like up close. Feel free to click on that. The link is in the description below and pop on over and you can see all I've literally loaded all the photos from when I started my channel. So you can have a look and because for myself I'm a visual I can look at someone's page and I can work out what they've done and how they've created created it now what I, sorry about my dog barking in the background i apologize i believe there could be a delivery arriving i've been on amazon like there's no tomorrow over the weekend okay these stars now these were left over from another page that i did a while ago and again i just stuck them in my little plastic caddy and I thought you know what I will I will use these at some stage I will use these and today's the day now what I'm doing here is creating a shaker pocket I it's super super simple for a star shaker pocket I just went around with some double-sided tape added that to the star glued on the acetate these Tim Holtz scissors I haven't said it in a while but I've got to tell you, if you have arthritis like I do, I have rheumatoid arthritis really bad and fibromyalgia. And my hands struggle some days to bend how I need them to. These scissors have flexible handles. I have the mini snips and I have the large ones. These scissors are a game changer. They do have a very, very tiny little perforation on one side. Some people like it, some people hate it. I personally love it because it allows me to fussy cut for ages. I don't get sore hands. I don't get, I have a lot of nerve damage from a car accident that I had about 18 years ago. And yeah, so it's really, I find it, it's really, really these scissors are great. Now, my daughter so kindly separated a heap of my sequins for me. And these are glass beads. So I ended up putting some of those in there as well. See those little, little tiny square bits? Okay. They do come back because I put them on the other stars. They are literally the little tiny squares. When I used the punch, the border punch, they're the little tiny squares that came out like confetti. Probably the first six punches, I was like, oh man, this is going to be so messy. But I've got to tell you, honestly, they worked so well for this. 
situation. Like, it worked perfectly. So I'm still not throwing these things away. I'm just moving them out of the way for a minute. That silicon mat that I had underneath, so the pink silicon mat. Now, it, it, it's really, really good. So what I'm using there is just my art glitter glue and I'm just sticking them into, you know, the same way you'd put hundreds and thousands on fairy bread. Um, just stick it in there, get as many stuck down as you possibly can, add a few extra and that's what I did on that. But then right at the very end, I actually come back and put glossy accents across the whole lot so they don't come off that, oh, they turned out magic. The only thing that I would have done looking back is I would have cut on purpose some silver or gold metallic paper just to have a few flecks of metallic in these. I love them all the same and that's not what this scrapbook page was about. This page was about showing you how to use leftovers, not create more leftovers. So as you can see, I just dried the glue off a little bit so it didn't stick to me and everything else. Um, <laughs> you might have got a little sneak peek there of, <laughs> of a packet. I was actually talking to my mum in Tassie and she... <laughs> I was explaining to her that I'd been to the pet shop and you can buy pet cannabis. It's, it's, um, THC free. It's hemp, um, for, for dogs that are, that need to be calmed down a little bit. Now, as you know, or you may not know if you're new here, I have four dogs and I have two really old ones. One that we, one that was a rescue and one that is just an old foxy and she is just a darling. I love her to death. Um, those two are fine. However, then I have two other chihuahuas and one is my daughter's chihuahua. He is a darling. He's so sweet. He's, he's just beautiful. And then there's mine. My girl, Lexi. Lexi, Lexi, Lexi. That dog is the exact description that you would imagine a chihuahua to be. She will bark at anything at any given moment. It drives me crackers. So I thought, you know what, I'll try this stuff. It might calm her down. And well, so far it seems all right. It's not too bad. Okay, so here you can start to see a little bit of the gist of where I'm heading with all of this. Now, I have sped this up a fair bit because, you know, you can see what I'm doing, but for anyone that's new to my channel, what I actually do is instead of editing out, cutting out the bad bits or cutting out the bits that, I don't know, they don't flow as smoothly or whatever, that's not me. That is not what I am doing this scrapbook channel for. I am doing this to show you that we all make mistakes. We all have pages that don't quite go to plan. Um, and that's pretty much where I was, I was feeling a little bit, I've been scrapping for 20 years and I was feeling a little bit like every YouTube video that I watched, it worked perfectly. It just flowed and I thought maybe I'm not that creative maybe I just think I am and I'm not then I then it hit me why am I feeling this way I'm feeling like this because everyone edits the daylights out of their videos to play it in real time and that's when I realized that's no I think people need to know that not everything works. It really doesn't. Sometimes it does, but it doesn't always. And that's why I I do my channel like this. I don't edit. I Sometimes I have to snip bits. Like there, I turn the video off 
I went off, I found my stamp that I wanted to use and I'm using my Versamark watermark ink pad and I'm using the, it doesn't say, I haven't written it down. It is a Stampin' Up Lace, Lace, I think it's called Lace, Lace, uh, it's called I Love Lace is what the stamp's called. And this is me, I actually wanted to try for you guys, I bought the Hero Arts White Embossing Powder and it's called, that's all it's called, White Embossing Powder. I am going to go out on a limb here and I'm going to say that not all embossing powders are created equal. There you go. I said it. Uh, I said it for what it is. Hero Arts embossing powder, the white one. Whew, that melted beautifully. It didn't bubble. It didn't have chunks. It was just beautiful. And it literally looks like a piece of lace. So it, yeah, if you're looking to invest in different kinds of different mediums, maybe you're looking at some embossing powder. I'm really sorry about the glare that was coming in the window. The sun, I had worked on it. This page took me a while. Okay. It actually took me all day, like the full day from 8.30 in the morning till I think this was probably about four in the afternoon and the sun was coming in because the sun was going down and it was coming in my room and unfortunately got a bit of glare but I didn't want to stop because I wanted to get this video done for you guys. Sorry I needed a drink. So the photos that I'm scrapping are Follow on photos from Kenilworth. That's why I thought it would be good to use up the scraps because they can go side by side in my album. Same colours, but yeah. So I go around the, I think the stars just needed to pop a little bit more. So I just went around with my Uniball Signo Broad pen in white and I just outlined them just so they sort of popped off the green a little bit more. And I just, this is all I'm doing. I'm not doing mix, mixed media as such. I'm just adding some lines. Now, this is something that I think makes your scrapbook page go from, oh yeah, to wow, that, that pops. How did you get that to pop? How does that stand out so much? and there's no extra cardstock used. So I think it's fantastic. Um, I use the black stickers are uh, Creative Memories classy mini stickers for my titles. And I just added a little bit of border around here. I did actually do some sewing on that bottom, not the one I'm on now, the one next to it, with the photos on it. I actually ran that through my sewing machine and added some actual stitching. Up close you can see it, from a distance you can't really, but I just wanted to add a little bit of extra texture. And here I am going off with my glossy accents yet again. I felt this paper here was a little bit too bland. I didn't, obviously I didn't want to do too much to it didn't want to add to the crazy because the four blocks are quite busy. So I just grabbed the glossy accents and I added some dots to the page and it worked a treat. So here I'm using, I call it the flooding method because that's what we call it in, in the kitchen when you're um, flooding biscuits and you do the royal icing around the edge and then you come in and you flood the center. That's what I'm doing with my stars. If you pop over to Facebook, you can see what they look like up close after they dried. I do my close up here before they're fully dry. So they still look a bit cloudy. 
but they look so good they look amazing i really i love them i love this technique it looked so good in the end i was absolutely wrapped so here's the close-ups for you guys let me know what you think about my page using my leftover rubbish that would have normally just been chucked in the bin and so that's a shaker pocket I, i'm not shaking it because i don't want the glossy accents to go anywhere that feels like lace it's beautiful i just put a couple of strips of the other color down the edge you can see there see how they're not glued down but they're little zigzags that's all from the punch these i used the the edge that you can if you look closely well there's the stitching but if you look closely they're not all scalloped or anything they're just where i cut it off to create the other pieces on the other page so if you like this page, let me know down below. Leave me a comment. You can copy it. You can draw inspiration from it. You can make pinwheels. You can let me know and jump over on Facebook and join our little group and have a look. See, see other people's pages and you might find inspiration here, there and everywhere. And this is all I have left over out of my rubbish and the little boxes there's still a little bit there so i've done two pages and that's all the rubbish i'm throwing away thanks for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment chat to you soon bye